The eruption on La Palma Island of the Canary Islands continues as of the 20th of September, 2021. Thousands of people and livestock were evacuated from the affected towns west of the active vents. Seven vents have formed along two fissures. As with any fissure eruption, consolidation to one vent will eventually happen as the eruption continues. So far, more than 100 houses and structures were destroyed. And so far, no injuries nor deaths have been reported. The island is still open to tourists and the lava may make its way to the ocean as of early as today. The new vents are located right here, just less than a mile east of the San Nicolas Highway. Here's some nighttime footage shot by the Guardian Civil of an AA lava flow consuming structures and buildings. So far, thankfully, nobody has been killed or hurt. Oh, there it goes. The building is collapsing. Look at that rock. The lava is slowly consuming this building and will consume more buildings in its path. That lava flow is at least 10 meters tall to give you an idea how big it is. Atención, atención. Habla la Guardia Civil. Por favor, desalojen las viviendas. Por favor, desalojen las viviendas. At this point, Guardia Civil is ordering the residents to evacuate. And you can see that the vent is very close by, about a mile away. That vent right there, the lava is shooting about almost 700 feet into the air. Nobody knows how long this eruption is going to last. However, it is noted that back in 1971, an eruption here on La Palma Island lasted for at least five months. Here you can see massive amounts of lava pouring down the hillside. Here's an aerial view of the vent shot by the Civil Guard or Guardia Civil. So, because if he does not, he runs the risk of being run over by lava. Here's another aerial view shot by Guardia Civil showing the expanse of the lava field. You can see the lava flow right there. Um, it's pretty much burning everything in its path and it's going to make its way to the sea if the eruption continues. This lava flow that you see here is moving very slowly. It is an a, -a lava flow. Basically, a, a means clinkery or jagged, and it is a Hawaiian term. The speed of an a, -a flow depends on how steep the slope is. It can move anywhere from one meter to about five meters per hour. And you can see right here, it's gonna make its way to the sea, possibly within a day or two. Here's an example of what a, -a lava looks like. As you can see, it's uh, clinkery and jagged and moves very slowly. And this one right here is just crossing the road and it's burning the vegetation. Here's some spectacular footage shot by Television Canaria. And it was shot on the 19th of September, 2021. This is about only a few hours after the eruption has started. These fountains right here are going about 400 feet in the air. Now you can see some, uh, some of the trees burning. Look at that. And some close up of some lava flows right here going down the hill. This eruption right here has intensified as the day went on. And as we went into night, the fountains started getting larger and larger. The fountains that you see right here, right now, this is about an hour later from the previous clips, is going around 700 feet into the air. Now, that side vent right there, the lava just seems like it's pouring right out of it. And those fountains are going around 100 feet in the air. Well into the night, you can see that these lava fountains here are estimated to be about 1,300 feet tall. That's it. Stay tuned for more eruption updates.